Hello Scorpio! Welcome to the channel Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart and we are here for a love reading for Scorpio. So let's get started. Let's see what the overall energy is for our beautiful Scorpio friends. Dance is on one foot, a balancing act. All right, I kind of like that. Dancing always sounds good, right? All right, so what else do we have here for Scorpio? In love. Experience life as it comes. Take it as it comes, Scorpio. All right. One more card for our beautiful Scorpio people at this time. Spirit of the river, movement towards adventure. Scorpio, what are you up to? Good. You're looking for some adventure. Some changes, something new, shaking it up. I love it. Okay. Scorpio, in love. What is going on with you, Scorpio? I get this beautiful energy in the recent past between you and a lover that shows that your person just finds you exquisite, that you both find each other very, very attractive, that this was a very unexpected situation. We have the Tower card. It's kind of a love at first sight kind of a reading. And then when we look at your person of interest here, they want a relationship that's very fair, that's equal give and take. They're searching for answers. But I also believe that your person is on the rebound because when I look at this energy, they're searching for answers, hermit energy, Virgo energy. It looks as though you feel broken hearted, like it's a third party situation, like there's a competitor. But since your person is alone, there's no competitor. This is them being on the rebound. It looks as though in terms of your relationship, they've pulled back from you. They're trying to stay very logical. We have the Libra Queen. But I do feel as though you your take on this is that you've been left behind that this person is polite they will engage with you they will talk to you yes they find you attractive yes they have these beautiful feelings and yet they're not acting on them your person again when we get the clarifier for the king of swords energy energy we see a person who is very aloof detached still by themselves still healing from having walked away from something that they thought would become, I think, a marriage. So here you are. The mutual energy is, again, I still feel like you're talking to this person. But there's this feeling that the relationship isn't going to go anywhere, that you've closed out a cycle. I get spirit is saying, open your heart to love. Spirit is saying, the Ace of Swords, the truth of the situation must be faced, that no matter where you're at in your journey, which is very different from your love interest journey, that there's not really anything that you can do about it. Your person needs time to heal. Your person is not interacting with you because they're still going through a very strong healing period of time. When we look at the outcome for you, Scorpio, we see remorse, regret. We get feeling, you're just feeling really defeated in this situation. Temperance card says that you suspect that this person will return. And I would agree with that. But because this is a very sort of very cut and dry kind of mutual energy reading, I want to look at your person by themselves, okay? Let's look and see where they're at um, so that we can see what's happening here. So it does show in the overall energy, though, in response to all of this, that this is a bit of a balancing act, which the temperance card tells us it is also. Because you really don't want, want to cut ties with this person. Um, and I also get that spirit is actually also trying to tell you to take life as it comes don't be caught up so much in um, willpower, trying to make something come together. You know, walk away, let a person do whatever they need to do. You know, they, they seem to be in their own little world over here. Very much tender towards you, very much attracted to you, but just not ready. 
movement toward towards adventure is you know your advice and so let's many of you are i know that i have one scorpio friend who has done something very very adventurous in terms of their future life and i'm so happy for them um and it's all about having fun you know it's about that so let's see what your person is feeling yeah five of swords they feel as though they got a raw deal in love from another person the six of wands they do feel as though they wanted a victory that they didn't get with that other person so let's see how they feel about you though just their emotions towards you the Magician card, look at that, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. They feel as though you're magical. They know that trying to be involved with you right now is not fair. The Five of Swords says that their heart is elsewhere and they know it's not fair, that yes, they could have a conquest, but this person is not looking for a conquest. This is a person who wants equal give and take. The star card, they see you as an absolute rock star, Scorpio. They do. They see you as beautiful inside, beautiful outside. They see you as a manifestation of a lot of dreams. The king of swords energy, though, is now replicated again. King of swords. They're in this energy of trying to do what's right. The world card. They have to close out the cycle on their wounded heart and so it's resonating again it's a repetition of the cards that we see here but I do like the magician card they did manifest you they do want you in their life but they don't know how when and they want to do the right thing spiritually with the star card they want a victory that's a victory for everybody they want to come to you when they're ready to come to you so I see that they are trying to deal with the past they do want to return to you but right now go have some fun scorpio sending you love bye bye take care